Hello everyone, I'm teacher Cordelia and I work for Wales English. Wales English is an online education company that is based in China. Now, many people wonder how does an online education compare to a brick and mortar school? Which is a very good question, especially now. I have many friends that are teachers in brick and mortar schools and many of them have to wake up very early so that they can get to work around seven and they work all day and come home maybe around six in the evening. Now that is a very long work day. Now, throughout their day, they do get to teach a couple of their own classes, but the rest of their time is filled doing endless paperwork, along with maybe the odd detention or two and work of that nature. Whenever they do get to go home, they still have work left to do. They have to grade tests, papers, homeworks, assignments, just so that they can go to bed and wake up the next morning to do the process all over again. It's true, brick and mortar school teachers, they do get to enjoy a nice long summer vacation. However, during the actual school year, there are countless unpaid hours that aren't really accounted for. Now, I teach online with Wales English, and like many of the other teachers here, we devote less time to our working day. So, that means we get to spend the rest of our time with our family, our friends, doing hobbies, having another part-time job, or even maybe some volunteer work. Basically, whatever we want to do, we have the freedom to do it. So that's a very big positive for Wales English, that there is only a minimum hour requirement of eight hours weekly without any commute. Now, in brick and mortar schools, I know that teachers, they have to commute and work more than eight hours daily, every day. In brick and mortar schools, there's a lot of time that's put into creating lesson plans and managing a large number of students. However, preparation is kept to a minimum at Wales English with its courseware. Everything is already prepared for you. All that you have to do as the teacher to prepare is look over the well-structured material and prepare to teach it with a set goal in mind. Now, the most popular classes at Wales English typically have two students and I love this setup. That makes it much more personal for the students themselves and as a teacher, you get to know them so much better than if I were to have 15, 20, 25, or even 30 kids in my class. And it's easier to manage. Another point to consider is that in brick and mortar schools, there are typically faculty meetings that have required attendance for its employees. However, we as teachers are independent contractors with Wales English and we're normally not required to attend such meetings. Now, teachers that are more people oriented, they do begin to feel lonely when they start teaching online as a result of working from home. However, Wales English has done an amazing job of creating a warm, welcoming online community for its teachers where we get to share our life and teaching experiences with each other and even ask for some help if we need it. During difficult times, such as a pandemic, teaching professionals can feel much safer teaching online in the comfort of their own home rather than having to commute and risk being infected in a brick and mortar class and faculty setting. You can feel much more secure with your job and your income when you're with a strong and reputable company. I have had a steady income since the outbreak of the 2020 pandemic, and I have the peace of mind knowing that I don't have to commute to start teaching. I can simply stay home. At a brick and mortar school, Teachers generally get their vacation time at the same time as everyone else. But with Wales English, the teachers actually get to choose their vacation days. And when it's safe to travel, teaching online gives you greater flexibility to travel while working. All that you have to do is plan ahead and schedule your classes to allow for your travels. Of course, there are both pros and cons to teaching online or in a brick and mortar school. So it's very important that you weigh your options and your own personal needs. You could even say that now, more than ever, teaching online could be that new horizon that you're looking for. You could start off just part-time until you're ready to go full-time online. Or you can join the many other educational professionals who somehow manage to do both. 
If you feel like you are up for the challenge, I encourage you to put your best foot forward and apply using the official link down below. The competition is rather fierce, so please make sure that you have an updated CV or resume and make sure that you're a native English speaker from the US, Canada, UK, Ireland, Australia, or New Zealand. And make sure you have your bachelor's degree as well as a year's worth of experience teaching young learners and a 120 hour TEFL certificate and make sure that your passport isn't expired. If you have any questions about teaching online or about Wales English as a company, please leave me a question down below and a comment too. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out on another fun, informative video from Wales English. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.